Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode 14 of my GGG 2019 LP world. Um, we are through getting the assigned villagers here. We ended up with, well, there will be many more coming, but right now with the, oh, we need to do this. This will be Farmer 3 here. I decided to go ahead and do that because I'm still not getting the trade I wanted from the other two farmers. Oops. Come on. Is that two or three? Okay. And I haven't traded with this guy yet, but I will when we get back today. Anyway, over here we have now a guy that will be unemployed unless I set down some other um, workstation. In the church we have the uh, leather worker and the cleric as before. Starting to get quite a few things built up for them. Some leather there. Some rabbit hide because we have I changed my rabbit pen because I couldn't get that and the chickens working together for the butchers. Baby zombie out there. I'm still collecting these things like crazy so that they can be traded to the farmers whenever. Alright, so we have the fisherman there. Have quite a few fish in here that I could trade him probably now. I've been fishing and also but um, I've been uh, taming cats as well, but I still have quite a few. Anyway, with this farmer, I just I didn't put the number sign on any of the other things, so just kind of get those fixed up. Okay, then over here we have the uh, Fletcher and the Shepherd. I've been trading them, and they're sleeping right where they should. Not a problem. I put the rabbit pen over here. And here are the two butchers who like to get stuck in this doorway every once in a while. And neither, you know, so that neither. Oh no! What do we have here? That's the leather worker. Is the is the other butcher over there? That may be because I had an extra little guy there for a while. Let's go check that out. I'm not too concerned if they sleep in the wrong beds. At least I have the right. Um, no, don't tell me I have two leather workers now. Oh, this is not good. All right, I had two butchers at one point, and actually, I think what he did was he, when I put the last thing down, while the one guy was asleep over there, he has become a tool smith instead. Or is that a, no, that's the fisherman. Wait, 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 wait. So, what, do we have a butcher over here? Oh, I was thinking everything was perfect. It doesn't matter with the sleeping. No, that's the fisherman. Okay, well, we'll see what that guy is when he wakes up. He looks like a leather worker, maybe. Anyway, ah, over here we have the um, armorer. No, that's the armorer, and this is the weaponsmith. Ah, out we go. And they are right exactly where they're supposed to be. Oh, no, the mason, that's what he is. The mason and the armorer. That's right. Okay. And then over here we have the weaponsmith and the toolsmith. And he just converted. So that's the weaponsmith there. You can tell he gets the patch over his eye. And the uh, toolsmith is here. And that's what he looks like, but that's what the other guy looks like over there that is supposed to be a butcher too. So that's not good. Arr don't really need two, two tool smiths. Let's go check the librarian over here. Librarian and cartographer. Last I checked, they were just fine. Yep, they're just fine. Right where they're supposed to be. We have one... No, we have a couple of these guys in here. We also have one outside that may or may not still be there. He spawned inside of that uh, zombie trap over there. And the only way to get him out in the middle of the night, whoa, was to take him out that side wall because I didn't want to take any chances of anything else going out through here while the while the thing was 
gen uh, being moved. So I don't see him over here. He may have died. Or he may have gone around another side. I don't know. So we have basically everything, though. Let's go sleep and we'll see what happens with this other guy in the morning. Because this guy isn't anything. Right here. Um... Why? I have no idea. It happens every once in a while. You get somebody, maybe he couldn't get into bed in time. And just as I put down the other uh, workstation over there, that he looks like a leather worker, though. I think maybe, I think maybe he is. I need to look at that guy again. Was over here. I'm pretty sure that's what the leather worker looks like. And maybe he was stuck over here or something. Um, no, he's different. Unless that's... I'm pretty sure that's the leather worker, though. Hmm. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go sleep. And we'll head back over here. Actually, let's just pick up an extra bed. Because I want to see what he is when he comes out of there. Doesn't matter to me where I sleep. At this point, anyway, I'm gonna do this. Let's sleep. Ready? And we'll pick it up. And this is the guy that I want to see here. Now there's the butcher. Oh wait, there's two. Okay, what is he? He's, a, he's the Fletcher. Okay, is there a butcher over here then? I'll bet the butcher went to sleep over here then, and I was thinking they were okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're okay. Butcher's over here, along with the... That's fine. If they want to trade at beds every once in a while, they're close enough together. It doesn't really matter. They go to their correct workstations during the day. All right, we're good. <laughs> That's what I needed to know. Did I have too many? Had they overrun things the way they should not? And all that kind of stuff. All right, so we have over here, then, the correct guys. There's the mason, and he's a master. Um... He doesn't have as many trades as I thought he would have. Maybe, I don't know if he'll... I think it's expert first and then master, but maybe not. Let's see if we can trade him some more. I don't think I have very many, many more emeralds in here. Let's check. Whoa. No, I... Oops. No, I don't have any. Um, I would have thought that the other stone would be involved in that, too. Okay, armorer. Yeah. I got um, an iron helmet, and I get, you know, got quite a few diamonds from him, and I have not gotten a bell because I don't have 20 emeralds to trade him. Chainmail boots coming up. He's still an apprentice. Toolsmith, he's a novice, brand new. Um, yep. Now, you're going to get, tool evidently, you're going to get, oh, that's a stone axe because I got an iron axe from the uh, weaponsmith over here. I don't know where he went. Over here somewhere. Oh, hello. Toolsmith, that's him. Yeah, he went over there. Played at that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he... What? I was sure he gave me an iron axe. Well, that's just weird. <laughs> I don't even care. He could have switched, I suppose. I don't think they're supposed to, though. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get some... Oh, that's not enough to trade him for anything, so... Yeah, we'll just leave that at that. I think I have some extra coal in here. Um, not sure where I put it. So that's the stuff for the mason. Oh well, I'll just have to get some more coal. I've got got it stashed away in my regular warehouse, so we'll put the. Uh... <laughs> Thank you for opening the door. Then I get stuck. Okay, we'll just put. The... Oh, this uh, I put it right in there. Okay. Yeah, see, I definitely traded with him before then because that's where. So what do I have up there? Anything? Yeah, look, iron axe right there. That's what I got from that guy before. And now he wants to give me an iron sword 
with sharpness 2 and fire aspect 1. That's so strange. Okay, well, anyway, whatever. <laughs> um, that's interesting. I don't know what happened if that happened during one of the changeouts or something. Because he's the toolsmith the way he should be. <laughs> whatever, I don't understand. Probably just a little tiny glitch. Um, everything else seems to be fine, and that's what I wanted you to see, is that I have all of the, uh, the little guys that I need now, and so I also have a guy over here that is unemployed, <laughs> because he came in the, the last night, and he took over that bed. So what I'm going to do before I leave is I'm going to go through here, put all of the unemployed beds back in place, because it really doesn't matter now where the babies go as long as the other guys have a bed and have their workstation so that I have everything that I need and then if I want to I can change these guys out at some point by putting in other workstations while they're sleeping or when they first get up whoever's closest that kind of thing but for now I think we're pretty much done with this village and I will be moving on to the next one or next whatever it is. I just wanted to get to this point with this one for closing out this part of the series. Okay, should be some more beds up here. So when I took them down I just put them in the closest um, chests. Boom. Yep. Okay, and there. That's it. That's all. No, wait. Nope. This is the last one here. Alright. Two blue ones here. Light blue. Alright, we'll go give the uh, fisherman his string in the barrel over here. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, see, I have quite a few fish in there. And I could trade him some more fish, but I'm really not too interested in it right now. And what did uh, I know there was something? Oh, I know what it was. It's rotten flesh. Probably could trade the cleric for some rotten flesh, and I think he wants 31. Where'd he go? He was right here. There he is. Let's trade you. There we go. He only wants 31 of those and he'll give me an emerald. Yay, now he has all the way down to the uh, bottle of enchanting. Oh, he wants cocoa beans now. How in the he Oh, no, it's not cocoa beans. It's nether wart. Oh, that's right. He had that before because he's been a master for a while. Just there. So I need to get him some nether wart. Um... It's down. All my nether wart is down in the, uh, the sub basement. <laughs> the basement down underneath that. That's not where that goes. So I want to put that up here. Trading stuff here. Okay. Well, that is up to date with uh, GGG 2119 LP. And I will be back with another part of it after I go do some other things. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.